Are competitions good or bad? I think that's, I think people will give you. My name is Ever Larson. I am 21 years old and I am a quarter ballet dancer with Colorado Ballet. The competitions I competed in were YAGP, Denver Ballet Guild, and Esther Jeffrey. Competing in these competitions were a great opportunity to hone in on certain skills that you wouldn't get just in class. Working one-on-one -on -one with a coach on a variation or a solo uh, really just allowed for specific corrections and training that you wouldn't normally get. In my second year of YGP, I was working on Aurora's birthday variation. It was it's one of my favorite variations and it was something that I had been wanting to do for a long time. It just wasn't clicking almost. Things were being, I was being told to do certain things and I was trying my hardest, but it kind of, it wasn't, it wasn't there. I was told by my coach, just like, this is yours. It's something that you just need to kind of embrace within yourself and just like, uh, let it like, take a deep breath, let it go, kind of shake it out. And I ran it and suddenly it just like worked. Most things, it doesn't happen that way. Things don't just happen overnight, it's a gradual process. But it was such a sigh of relief for me because I know that we were considering picking a different variation because we still had time. But suddenly it was just, it happened. And it was like a rush of relief and just happiness. Some of my pre-performance rituals have evolved over the years. Um, for a long time, I had to have Sour Patch, Watermelon, Gummy Candies before I went on stage. And to a certain extent, that's still the same, but it will change from performance to performance. Sometimes it's goldfish, sometimes it's a piece of chocolate. Um, that's something that I've always held on to. I just really like to stand in the wings right before I go on stage and especially for YAGP you're not doing a full ballet you're just going on and doing a variation and so I like to stand there and try and imagine if I had been doing the whole ballet leading up to this variation how I would feel um, if I were a real person and these were real things happening to me off stage how that would affect me. Aside from awards these Experiences were wonderful because, first of all, they gave you performance opportunity. You can't pretend that you performed more than you have. It, it is something that just, it, you have to have those opportunities and be on stage in front of an audience because it, it's something that translates to, at least for me personally, it translated well into being a professional dancer. My advice to dancers that are going to attend their first competition is that it's not about the award that you may or may not receive or the money that you're trying to get. It's about the process of preparing for the competition. There is so much that happens behind the scenes and so much that you're going to work on and gain from simply the rehearsal process. It sounds cheesy, but it, it's about the journey, not the destination. If I were to do it all again, I don't think there's anything that I would necessarily change for myself. I did Denver Ballet Guild starting at age 12, I think. And then I didn't do YGP until I was 15 and 16, kind of right at the end of my training. And for me personally, I think that's what was best for me. It worked well for me. I know for some people it is great for them to do it when they're younger. Um, but for my personal journey, I appreciated not having to worry about the whole YAGP process when I was little. Once I was older, I was able to un appreciate it for what it was and not just think about the award. Are competitions good or bad? I think depending on who you ask, you'll get a completely different answer um, because we all have our own experiences with competitions. For me personally, I think, yes, they're good, um, but not for the traditional reasons that most would think. Um, 
they're good because of everything that you gain from the process and the people that you meet. Yes, sometimes you can get a scholarship to a summer program that helps you further your career. Um, and that's a, a perk of it, but they're good for, I've said it so many times, they're good for the journey. When it comes down to it, everything that I did and every step that I took brought me to where I am today, and I'm very grateful for that.